Now I will explain the data flow kernel. In engine code you will find a file called CPU stream kernel.maxj. Open it. I will replace the content of this file. Here you can see a Java class that extends the kernel class imported from the kernel package. Before the public constructor I always create the needed maxillar data type variable so I can use it later as type and not as DFE int 8. DFE int 8 is a maxillar data type variable that represents a 1 byte integer. I've chosen that type because I want my variables to simulate chars. This is the public constructor that accepts one parameter. This parameter has to be passed to super constructor if we want the kernel to function correctly. Here I create a variable x that represents an element of the array we pass from the CPU. IO is a global variable that provides classes and methods for creating and accessing input and output streams to the kernel. X is the name of the input stream and type is the variable that represents the maxillar data type we define up here. Here I create a variable that represents the result we will pass to the output stream. Uh, there is no complex logic here, we are just assigning x to the result because we are making a simple echo kernel. At last we pass the variable result to the output stream called Z.